Today, let's talk about the steps required by an Exact Path administrator to properly set up your account. This includes defining academic years, selecting your standards, and setting your test window. When you first log into Exact Path as an administrator, you will be taken to the settings area, signified by this little gear icon. A series of tabs at the top of your screen will take you through this process. These tabs and the process we will go through in this video reflect the experience if you have a multiple assessment account enabled. First, let's start with academic years. An academic year is a required first step and it's used to guide your testing window structure and data reporting. It allows you to group all data together from a specific school year or custom span of time, like a summer or winter session, so you can compare growth and progress over the academic year. Any present and future academic years you've already set up will display here. Let's select Add Year to create a new academic year. I can select the type of academic year I'm creating, the year that the academic year will cover, and then a start date for my academic year. Go ahead and switch to 2022 here. Start in August. Carry through the following. Uh, let's go ahead and say June and hit save here to add my additional academic year. Next, I move on to standard setup. I can select the standards that my exact path experience will align to. You have the ability to select Common Core or your specific state standards in this area. Notice there's one additional option from this page. I can choose to auto-generate learning paths. If selected, this means that students will be given immediate access to an on-grade level learning path before diagnostic data is ever available. This is a quick way to allow students access to learning before testing takes place. When a student does take a diagnostic during the year, the learning path will be automatically updated based on that performance. Consider if this is appropriate for your implementation. Conversely, you may only want students using exact path after diagnostic data is available to individualize the learning path experience. Check or uncheck this box as you see fit and select Next. Let's move on to test windows. In this area, you can set your test windows within the specified academic year. I'll go ahead and select my academic year 2021-2022. You have the option from a multiple assessment account of setting up to five testing windows per academic year. Most district and school partners opt to test three times a year, once in the fall, once in the winter, and once in spring. And we've included recommendations aligned to that best practice. I can go ahead here and add a test window. I have my first test window set up. I will go ahead and add here. Uh, test windows cannot overlap with one another. That is an important tip to keep in mind and I will take this one through the end of the calendar year. From Learn More, I can see details about the suggested dates and best practices for testing administration. This includes a recommendation to first test students early in the school year for an accurate initial benchmark measure. There's also a reminder to complete each testing window within two weeks for valid measures. A minimum of 60 instructional days should be between testing cycles to allow for accurate growth measures. Finally, recommended dates aligned to national percentile ranks in the program are also noted here. Since I've already set my first window, I'll go ahead and save the second test window. Finally, on this page, I can choose my diagnostic availability. I might want to turn off access to the assessment during the weekend. Additionally, I can go to my weekdays and set specific available hours that align to my school day. Once I've made those selections, I can hit Save here. Next, you'll set up each partner assessment from the Partners tab. We are not going to go into this in depth. Instead, you can use our partner guides 
to set up your account mapping for either NWEA map growth or Renaissance Star Assessment if you are choosing to use one of these additional partner assessments. Complete only for the partner that you will be utilizing. From there, you can go to Assessments. This allows you to assign a different assessment to each location or school. For each school listed, select the appropriate assessment provider. If you're using the exact path diagnostic, you can choose to auto schedule assessments which gives students immediate access to take the assessment inside of their account the moment that testing window starts. No future scheduling action is needed by the instructor if auto schedule is selected. Once you've made those selections, hit save and you're all set. Now you know how to define your academic years, select your standards, create your testing windows, choose your partners, and align your assessments to locations inside of ExactPath. Thank you for joining me.